morning. I've been waiting for the sun to get through the trees to do a little bit of filming. I've been on the trail now for about 45 minutes. And I've got to say, it's pretty cool in the shadows. I'm heading down a really steep slope here, so pardon me if I'm concentrating a little bit <laughs> elsewhere. This is my eighth ride on the trail, and today there's two trips. The first one is from dwelling up south to the next overnight campsite and return. It's about 56, 58 kilometers from start to finish. And then once I get back to dwelling up, I'm taking a second ride out to the Maranup POW camp, which I didn't get the chance to have a look at on the last trip. So it's a beautiful winter's day, cool, crisp, and clear. I'm really looking forward to the trip. Hope you enjoy it too. I just came across this huge Jarrah tree that's fallen across the trail and uh, my first thoughts riding up to it were that oh gee can't have been long ago and I'm gonna have to take a walk around the bush but clearly it's been here for a little while because there's a small walk trail that's already sort of been carved out of the bush surrounding it so there you go This is the halfway point for today, the Bijar Ingolan campsite, and it's about 30 kilometres south of Dwelling Up, which is where I started. I've been following the Murray River from Dwelling Up down past Nanga to this campsite, and it is an absolute gem. It's set in the middle of the bush. All I can hear are birds and the sound of a creek running in the background. Now, on the way back, I'm going to stop at a pretty cool suspension bridge which runs across the Murray River. Back to Dwelling Up, have a short break there, and then I'm heading out to Marin Up and the POW camp. So I hope you can join me. In the meantime, I'm just going to have a bite to eat and try to fix my camera boom, which broke for the second week in a row. Talk to you soon. Show you how much fun I'm having today.
So this is the suspension bridge behind me, and it's really quite impressive, but I'm not sure it's actually part of the Mundabidi at the moment. The signs point down this way, but there's also been a diversion. And I came in on the diversion, which is the way I'm gonna go back. But uh, that said, very impressive bridge, and there's so much water in the river at the moment. It's really good to see. Second part of the trip, I'm heading out from Dwelling Up again along to the Marinup POW camp. Now, it's not a long trip, probably about 5Ks out, 5Ks back, but I wanted to have a look at that. So stick with me, I'm about to head out that way and we'll see what's there. Eighty years on and there's very little here other than some foundations but this was the Marinup POW camp or Camp 16 and it catered for about 1,200 men from 1943 to 1946 including army personnel. Now most of the detainees that came through the camp were in transit and they were heading off to farms or other control centres but there was a comprehensive campsite here occupying about a hectare it was surrounded by barbed wire and concertina wire and had guard towers as well so it's right out or what would have been right out in the middle of nowhere at the time and one of the products of the camp itself was firewood about 2500 tons of firewood were cut every week to supply half of perth's annual firewood needs out of this one camp alone quite incredible it's a piece of history that's slowly disappearing back into the natural bush. It's just coming up at 4 o'clock and I'm only a couple of kilometres from dwelling up so I'm nearly home. And this gets really gloomy. Clouds rolling in, so in for a little bit of wet weather, I think. But if you can't tell, I haven't already said, I've had an absolute ball out here today. The trails have been fantastic. Every time I come out, they just continue to surprise me. So, yeah, couldn't speak highly enough of the trails around this area they're really well looked after and there's a lot of variety so good to get out here if you have the chance anyway i'm nearly back at dwelling up from what i saw there's some bright wash stations there as well so again covered in a bit of mud so i uh, might make a bit line for those before i load the bike up and head on home home I hope you've enjoyed the ride with me today. I've enjoyed making the, uh, the videos that we have. I'll see you for the next one. It's number nine.